hello. Good evening. <laughs> well, <and> welcome. <laughs> yes, that was very like BBC. It was my BBC introduction. <laughs> Be some light jazz music, yeah. yeah, and like a very slow pan in and a little dance. Yeah, we're That'd just not exciting. that professional, sadly. No, no. no. we've Maybe. just been sacked. <laughs> Maybe one day we can attain the lofty heights of like BBC in the seventies. We need those like accents, the special oh, accents yes. people used to speak with. Yes. <laughs> Welcome. Hello. Um, it's the John Arvin Textiles vlog. We're back again. Hello. And it's number 24. <gasps> 24. Yeah. I know. Ooh. On the outro for the last one, we said we had a new yarn, didn't we? We did. Exciting um, times. Now we thought we might show you about so it. So we thought we might show you the new yarn. Exactly. But first, um, well, first we need to introduce ourselves. And then after that, there's something ever so exciting that can't wait at all. Mm -hmm. So, um, do you want to kick us off with the introductions? Hello, I'm Donna. This is Sonia. I'm Sonia. And I'm Helena. <laughs> and that's Helena. Hello. Yeah. And we all work here at John Arvin Textiles. We do. Yeah. Despite the dodgy dancing and the <laughs> weird <laughs> Um, and then the exciting news, it's pretty major, Ooh. is we are having a flash sale. <sighs> End of winter, spring equinox. Exactly. It's the spring equinox. All it's done is rain all yes. winter long. And so we're just really excited. It's spring. We hope you're excited too. And we thought we'd have a little sale. We haven't had a sale for like two years, do you think? At least. Yeah, when was the winter warmer sale? Oh gosh. Was that during COVID still? Well, that's before my time. I think it's all pre-COVID. Is mm. it? Yeah. No. Really? Mm. It's well, a big deal. We don't do sales. We don't. I we mean, don't. we did have a sale on the Knit by Numbers because it's changing, that's but that's a different though, thing. Yeah. But this is like, whatever you want, it's on sale. <laughs> Just for one weekend. Yeah, don't get too carried away. Yeah. You've got to be watching this live. But yeah, until um, end of the day Monday, which is, do we know? 25th? Well, the the Friday will be the 22nd. So that makes it the 25th, 25th. or Monday. That's 25th, yeah. yes. We're proving <laughs> maths is our strong point today, aren't we, Sonia? <laughs> um, so yeah, um, there is a little discount code. So you will need to sign up to our newsletter if you're not already subscribed. If you are subscribed, just open your newsletter emails. Um, and then there'll be a little discount code and you can get um, you can get 10% off everything. And yeah, we hope it'll let you get a little bargain and get excited about spring. Yeah. And if you are watching this after the 25th of March and have sadly missed that sale, uh, you can get 10% off by becoming a mill member, yes. which yes. is a lifetime yeah. discount. It is. So, it is. Um, yeah, if you're interested, have a look at that on our website as well. Yeah. And if you're a mill member, it is still 10% off, so you will get an additional 10% off, don't worry. So that may encourage a couple of you to become mill members yes. as well. Nice discount that is. <laughs> yeah. I know. You also Simple. get a sneaky peek at some things as well. For, For being a mill member. Yeah, yeah. we do have... We did a sneaky peek of this new yarn, which so mill members have already mm. been able to see it. They've had it for and two weeks. And there's also going to be a sneaky peek of another thing coming up in a couple of weeks. Mm. So it's very special. Mm. Yeah. Oh, yes. It's all yeah. the excitement. Mill members are getting all the excitement this year. And they're special things that nobody else gets yeah. as well. Yeah. Helen is a mill mm. member. Is she? Oh, yeah. that's very good. Yeah. I was a mill member before I was. <laughs> what number mill member are you? Do you know? Like 80 something. Shh. That's so early wow. doors. Yeah. Wow. You're a nerd. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Are you a mill member? No, I did no, toy I with it, but I didn't. No. I came and worked here instead and yeah. steal yarn instead. That's what I thought. That's what <laughs> it doesn't I help thought. me much anymore, but you know. I thought, <laughs> I'll just get a job Get a job, instead. yeah. Get paid. It's and even cheaper get way of getting yarn, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Perfect. So what, what have we all been up to then since we last saw folks? Well, you guys had a, a cheeky little outing, didn't we you? We did. To yeah, we did. A little day trip. Mm. Lots of hours on a train. It was many Because, again, we don't have enough yarn here. No. Right. So I thought they'd go yeah. look at some more yarn. Yeah. 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 No, it's always nice to go and see more yarn. Was. It was fun, wasn't it? Yeah. See we people. Gave things a squish. Yeah, it was good. It I was think I bought good. some sock yarn. Yeah, you did. Have you used it yet? 
No. no, it's just sitting on the table looking pretty at the moment. Too many other things. Just, yeah, knitting. there's that's lots of other things to knit at the minute. Don has been knitting bit. something with a, how many bobbles again was it? 136 bobbles. <laughs> <laughs> I am knitting Snow Wonder by, oh, I can't remember her name. We'll put it in. Put it in. <laughs> um, it's a jumper for my granddaughter in our Yarnadelic worsted in it, Pink Moon. It's really lovely. It's very pretty. It's to show us. It's lovely. But it's got 136 it bubbles. Lot. It's a star shape and it is very, very pretty. It's a Christmas so, jumper. It's Christmas. Bobbles are very in at the moment, aren't they, Sonia? <laughs> they yes, you're oh, also wearing bubbles. Yeah, so that's the other thing I've been up to is I finished something. Yay! Um, and yeah, it's got just a little row of bubbles. But it's also got this blackberry stitch, which yeah. is a bit like bubbles. It's a bit yeah. like bubbles. Um, so the reason I had to make it is because it is in Appledore Aran. Shh, doesn't exist. No. Which doesn't Secret. exist. I'm Secret sorry. Yarn. You can't buy it. Um, it's going to come out in October of this year. So the countdown has officially <laughs> begun. <laughs> um, but I thought it would be a great excuse to knit something and then to actually wear it and see how it wears. Um, I didn't wear it to unravel because I thought I might it was pass a bit out. <laughs> yes. <laughs> but um, it's so warm, actually. It's like, it's lovely. I've been getting a lot of wear out of it. And the pattern is just so fun with this like giant cable panel. Um, it's by a Japanese designer, um, Ruvi. Ruvi? I think. Who did um, Sunny Sunny? Oh, but she yes. did Sunny Sunny. Really, really, and yeah. the pattern is called Minori. And it was so much fun to knit. And because it's Aaron, it like zooms along comparatively. But yeah. So, and I have used the colorway Slack my Girdle. So um, I'm afraid the Aaron doesn't exist yet, but we do have it in DK and in Lace Weight. But yeah, it's my new thing. I made Very something. Very nice. Yeah. I'm very into it. I've barely taken it off. <clears throat> Donna put buttons on hers. You put buttons on I put on buttons yours. on mine. I did. I finished this in September. It was supposed to be my Unravel cardigan. Yeah. <laughs> Last year's Unravel. Last year's Unravel. <laughs> Excuse me. No, Yarndale. Oh, Yarndale. It was for yes. Yarndale. I nearly yeah. finished it, but I didn't. Yeah. But you finished it for Unravel. I did. Wore it unravel. I wore it at Unravel. That was yeah. a lot of love. Can I knit something for Wonderwall, do we think? Ooh, <laughs> the race is on. It might be a shawl <laughs> and not a cardigan. A sock. You or love, a sock. You love <laughs> yeah. doing this. I do. I like pressure love knitting. It. I just... <gasps> staying up till 3am after yeah. setting up the show stand. <laughs> And sewing on pockets. No. Sewing on pockets. Yeah, that was a bit bad. I decided against that for Yarndale. That was I wasn't doing it again. <laughs> I like to just finish my months in advance. Yeah. So I'll be wearing this at Wonderwall. <laughs> uh, and then I'm afraid none of you will be able to, to buy it there either. Yeah, that's <laughs> I could find something else to wear at Wonderwall. Um I'll probably have something else by then. Yeah. Yeah, you'd like to think. What have you been up to, Hals? You didn't come to Unravel. Have I didn't come to Unravel. No, I was busy out getting, not rained on, weirdly. Mm. I, I went on a couple of little trips. I went to the Wetland Centre at Slimbridge, which Ooh. is not, it's just the other side of Bristol, so not too far away, um, to see basically lots of different ducks and geese that I'd never seen before. Mm. A few other things as well. They have otters. Mm. It's a very cute Do they? they? Two little oh. otters. Did you see otters? We saw the otters. Oh, you did? did you? Yeah. Are they're, they they're like in an, it's still like, yes, it's sort of a okay. half zoo, half like wetlands. Ah, right. so like you can go out and there's a lot of people with very, very big cameras and tripods oh, and gosh. the whole gear. Yeah out there hiding watching things Twitches. or you can go to the bit that's just full of all the children yeah. where there's just like ducks and geese and flamingos Ooh. and a couple of otters yeah um they've got a few other things there's like on the inside bit where the soft play is it's got all the frogs oh so that's it's fun it's quite fun <laughs> it sounds great and honest. then we also went to western Burt arboretum which is the national arboretum um again just the other side of bristol from here um and that's just got lots of trees Mm. And a gruffalo, if that's your <gasps> thing. So again, lots of children, but like lots of gruffalo. nature. But yeah. This is the wrong time of year to go to the Arboretum. I went once, but in the autumn, like, yeah. you know, someone who's <laughs> thought about it. <laughs> Whether it was some leaves. Or or they fall off. <laughs> Winter's been very boring. We wanted to yeah. go outside and see some nature and do some stuff. And we were very lucky that we managed to pick the weekend that it didn't snow or just rain continuously. Yeah. You were very lucky. Yes. Yeah. yeah. So I mean, they went to a yarn show and I went outside and looked at nature also oh. very good very good 
still required knitwear. <laughs> Definitely. Lots of knitwear, I would think. <laughs> yeah. yeah, probably more than the yarn show. It was very hot in the It was, show. yeah. Um, yes. But yeah, shall we show folks our Devon Naturals then? Definitely, mm -hmm. yes. Get stuck in. Exciting times. So now we're going to tell you a little bit about the different breeds that have gone into our naturals range. Um, I've got the two that are in the new gradient. Brand and new gradient. Sonia's got the other two in the original two. Original ish gradient. Yeah. <laughs> we did expand it, but yes. it was there. So in the new gradient, we have a very new to us fibre, which is the naturally grey brown coloured Exmoor blue face. Yeah and the Romney. Romney is one we use a lot. It's a really lovely, lustrous one. Uh, we started using it more when we couldn't get hold of as much Wensleydale because everyone in the world wants Wensleydale. It's Wensley hen's Dale. teeth Wensleydale, isn't Whereas it? Whereas there's a lot of Romneys and yeah. they're really big, so they produce a lot of wool. They do, we were just reading about them. They had by far the heaviest fleeces. Yeah, if you see them, they're like the proper like big guys. Yeah. So, um, <laughs> And they like to have their feet wet, or well, they don't mind having their feet wet. No, because they live in a marsh. Yeah. Well, not the yeah. ones we have, or well, they probably do, it's Devon. <laughs> All of Devon's a marsh. Romney is actually a place in Kent. It's the Romney Marshes, so all the way on the other side of the south of England. Mm. Uh, so that's where the breed comes from originally. But our Romney we get from ones that are in the West Country. Yeah. Um, but yes, yeah, so they, they originally lived in a marsh. They're very, very big. They're yeah. very good sort of multi-purpose sheep, but they produce a lot of wool. It's nice and lustrous. It's yeah. uh, a sort of a medium one. Yeah. So it's a sort of a, a 31 to 34 micron. So not super soft, but not sort of coarse and horrible no, either. No, I think it's good for next to skin wear for most yeah. people, isn't it? Especially because it's got that drape to it as well. Mm. I mean, this is the Exmoor Blueface skein. If I wo wobble that around, you can see it's got much more, <laughs> much <laughs> floppier, yes. isn't it? Um, and shiny. But yes, we use the Romney in quite a lot of our other yarns in the, the Devonia and the Appledore. Um, mm. And yeah, it's a very popular, nice one. Yeah. It's a very nice we shiny top. It. Definitely. So we've been buying that for a good couple of years now, haven't we? Whereas yes. the other one, you and I went to go pick this, didn't we, Helena? It's one of the first things we did when we bought the business. Yes. Uh, so we went along to the wool board, which is literally five minutes down the road, mm. um, to have a look at what we might want to get. And while we were there, we had a look at um, some of the naturally coloured things because the Zwarbles, which is the other one we've had for ages, is one of the only ones we have had. And we wanted a few different options, which yeah. is... So last year we had, we got some Jacob, which we put into the Down the Allotment yarn. Yeah. Uh, and then this year, what we found was this lovely sort of dark medium grey yeah. colour I think they call it um, which is of the Exmoor blue face so that's the Exmoor horn and blue face Leicester cross so like the the local mule so it's like yeah. most sheep around here fall into that category because that's sort of the like cross breed that they are ish yeah. so exactly. that's what we got and we actually lucked out the lot that we bought turned out really soft it's lovely stuff it's... and again it's got that shine that the romney does still doesn't it it's yeah. really lustrous but yeah it's very hard to tell when you're buying particularly the naturally colored one because everything that's not white goes in there so you don't know where on the like color scale it's going to end up mm. um and then again where this is just all of the colored things across all of the grades that um are in that mule category it's got the really really nice stuff but also possibly some of the stuff that's at the bottom end of the grading yeah. so you don't necessarily know until you buy it what you're going to get but we're very pleased with we're this very one very happy with it's it very nice it's yeah there's going to be a lot of a lot of things being knitted with that yeah i feel like i want like a shawl or like a cardi with some swing to it or something yeah it's a really lovely colour. It's not obviously as dark as the Swartwalls you can see. It's quite a lot lighter, mm. but it's still, it's just a sort of a nice warm sort of brownie grey. Yeah, definitely. And then, yeah, and the Exmoor Blueface, we're going to say, is the 
uh, blue face Leicester, which mm. I'm sure many people know about with their cute little ringlets. Yeah. They're a much smaller sheep. And they so, look like little rabbits. Yeah, they've got little pointy ears and little pointy noses. They're yeah. very cute. They're adorable. Um, and obviously originally from Leicester yeah. in the Midlands. Yeah. But again, and, not for this breed. But and they are the absolute softest kind of British breed, really. Yeah. The blue face Leicester. They're a 26 to 30 micron range. Yeah. Um, which is the softest you can get in this country, basically. Yeah. And, and then the Exmoor Horn, which is like a big, another big hardy hill sheep. Yeah. Again. A bit more of a teddy bear, fluffy yeah. beast. That's very cute. And like really kind of bouncy, woolly wool, like cable jumpers sort yeah. of a situation. So they were bred so that they could survive on top of Exmoor. Yes. So, you know, <laughs> up, on, up in the yeah. snow, in the miserable weather. You had snow even like last week on Exmoor, didn't you? We it's did, just yeah. always it's... snowing. Yes. But yeah, so that's, uh, <laughs> those two are then crossed together. So the Exmoor horn tends to be a much higher micron count, like a 33 plus. Mm. So then when you get the Exmoor blue face, which is somewhere between, you get somewhere again in the middle around the like 30, 31 kind of yeah. range generally. So yeah. that's what the white one is that, again, you'll know about because we use it in absolutely it's, everything. I think this literally is in everything. This is so this is just our local when you look out the window when you're driving along. If you're not sure what breed it is, it's probably one of these. It's, it's probably a cross. Yeah. So we've been buying the white for donkey's years. It's probably one of the first things John ever bought. Yeah. That wasn't merino. Um, and now we've got like a naturally coloured version as well. So yeah. it's very exciting. So yeah, and we've been blending that one with the Zwarbles. So the Exmoor Zwarbles range has been around quite a long time, but only in the three shades. And now obviously we've gone all the way to the five. Yeah to add in the lighter shades. Yeah. Um, but yeah, the Zwarbles, originally a Dutch sheep. Yes. Um, Zwartblers, which is a black sheep with a white blaze. It's got a little tiny white stripe on its nose. Yeah, it looks does. a bit like our cats. Yeah, yeah. definitely. Um, they're very, very cute little sheep. Um, They've got little white tips on their tails as well and, and like they're... little white socks on. They mm. are beautiful. They're usually quite tame. So a lot of people have them because they're good sort of grazing sheep. So they don't necessarily have them um, in like vast quantities, but they probably have a few or like if they just want some land management, like it's a like Shetlands. It's another mm. one that people often get yeah. for land management rather than like Definitely. mass. And we were just reading about them in our book and it said that they're particularly good for milking. So if you've had Zwartbull's cheese. We'd love to hear about it. Please <laughs> let us know if there's some we can buy. <laughs> Maybe some Dutch folks all yes. have tried it. Um, but yeah. yeah, so that one you can see it's a lot, lot darker. So usually when we use it in things, we don't use a lot. So mm. for instance, the Harvest Hues is a third. So I'm just going to disappear. I'm going to grab one. And get one. That's 33%. So, that's... so you can see sort of how much it is. And then uh, like we use it in the Exmoor Sock, which is in the Mizzle. So that's mm. only got 10%, for instance. So we yeah. use it a lot of the time uh, to give anything a bit of depth. But... Now that we've exactly. got the this grey and also the Jacob that we used before, we've got a couple of other options for things. Because yeah. so. we also make yarn for other folks from time to time. So it's nice to not sort of only have one option of naturally coloured things to put in as well. And yeah. for ourselves. But yeah, so. so that's a bit about the sheep. Those are the sheep. And should we tell folk about the breeds and then we can do the fun thing and show them some patterns? Yeah. Perfect. So now we've got all of the new yarns available, the whole collection of the Devon Naturals. Um, and we had the original, these three here, already existed. Yeah, so this one is the Swarbles Dark, the Swarbles Mid and the Swarbles Light. From back in the day. 
but they now have new, much more fun names. They do have much because... more fun names and they come in minis as well because we and never got around to adding them. Every blend is available as a top because before you could only buy the straight up Swarbles and then the mid one was available. But now every single one of those and all of these are available as a tops blend. Hurrah. And then yes, in 100 gram skeins in four ply and DK, mm. also mini skeins. So like all of our other ranges, we filled it all out. Yeah. But yes, we gave them all fun names. And Helena was just reeling, <laughs> rattled all of them off. So like, hasn't learned them I, yet. <laughs> well, I've been on holiday and there's been an annual test going on. So I have no idea what the names are yet. I will learn them. Yes. <laughs> but well, uh... <laughs> We were inspired because when Katie made our lovely little badges for us mm. of Zadie the Zwarbles. Zadie. And Edna the yeah, Exmoor blue, blue Face. face. We actually went, oh, maybe we should just name them all like that as if they're our own little sheep, because we yeah. don't have sheep, even yeah. though everyone thinks we have Sometimes sheep. Sometimes people do quite often ask us where we keep our sheep when they yeah. email, and it's we like... We keep them uh... here, in this format. <laughs> yeah, we don't have sheep. <laughs> so we name them as if we did have sheep. We, now we have sheep, yes. <laughs> exactly. So as well um, as Zadie, we also have Zoe, Zebedee, Ethel, and Edna. Zebedee is my favourite. That's old school magic roundabout, isn't also, it? Ethel was a badge we did two or three years ago. Yes. One of the ones that Katie did that's a little woodcut one. Yeah, one an of the ones blue that blue That makes. one was called Ethel. So that was why we chose Ethel. That's why Ethel's in there. And then these guys, we Who have Gladys, Gertrude, Reggie and Rupert. Rupert the bear i mean all of the names that we i think we tried to think of names that like you know they're just a quite little bit comforting. old school yeah a little bit old school you think there's a grandma Proper or a granddad comforting. with these names <laughs> yeah remind us of our childhood definitely gertrude is nice i think does sam have a chicken called gertrude maybe or is it gladys she might do, she might do. But yeah that's all their little names yeah so yeah we have one gradient that's got five colours and this one only has four, but that's because we don't have one as dark as that no, for this one. So we exactly. didn't think it needed an extra one. Yeah, but I'm particularly excited about the kind of silver colour we've added. In that both. one that's like the Mizzle mm. Exmoor Sock. So it's the same sort of blend ratio as that. So yeah, makes a nice colour. It's such a kind of classy, I mean, Mizzle is probably one of our most popular things we sell. So it'll be really nice to have that option. Yeah. And then spec wise, the four plies are all 400 meters per 100 gram. So they'll work perfectly with both the knit by numbers and the harvest hues. Because folks are also always asking us for like a lighter harvest hues color. And harvest hues is 33% swap balls, so that's not possible. But um, you could definitely like match this kind of mizzle color um, with the harvest hues shades. What's the middle one called again, Helena? I've forgotten already. I'm terrible. Ethel. Ethel. So <laughs> Ethel will be very useful. With or both... Reggie. If yes, you want it in the Or Reggie, other. if you want a drapey version. Exactly. They'll work really nicely with the Harvest Hughes 4 ply. And then the DK is uh, 233 oh, metres, which is the same as most of our DKs. So yeah. again, very interchangeable with the other ranges if you wanted a little bit more variety for your neutral colours. So. Definitely, because quite a lot of our like normal dyed ranges, we do have neutrals, but we kind of try and focus on the dyed colours. So these will work perfectly. You can do a bit of mix and match for sure. But yeah, they make their own cute little gradients as mm -hmm. well. So yeah, definitely. So. And if you and if you're a spinner, you can always try just holding, like making a little mall, maybe having one ply of a neutral colour to like soften something down. That's a fun option too. Lots of different options you can do. Yeah, we're looking forward to seeing what you do do with them all. It's always exciting when there's a new thing coming. And if um, you don't have any ideas, we're gonna show you some pattern ideas in a minute. Yeah, definitely.
So, we've put on all of the grey <laughs> samples we could find. It's very cold in here. <laughs> Um, we wanted to give you a little bit of pattern inspiration for what might be nice. And so, yeah, we just got quite dressed up in all the woolies. We did. We? we did. All the things. Yes. So we've got the ones that were already existing samples that we had in the Zorbles. Yeah. And then some other ones we think would be really nice. Yes. yes. Definitely. So. so, shall we just slowly undress? We're not going to undress too much. Don't Maybe worry. We'll just, just... We just show you them one by one. <laughs> I think we'll scare everyone away. We would, <laughs> that would be, the ratings would plummet. <laughs> Can you imagine? Well, we promise to only take off the knitwear and show it to you. <laughs> Should we start with the, the less weird one? What, Sonia's not, less, what, moosh? The, Sonia's not the less weird? <laughs> Little Moosh. <laughs> Little Moosh, who is from Moosh and Friends Cynthia's by amazing Cynthia's lovely book. book. Uh, we think... Moosh himself would be a good one that you mm. could just make him in a different colour. Really now that we've got they? the minis. Yeah. Or another one is Billy the raccoon. Oh. Billy was or always my favourite. Is it Horatio oh. the donkey? Oh there are so many, but most of them would probably look quite good in natural colours because mm. obviously they are supposed to be those kind of colours. They're mammals. Yes. yes. The yeah. donkey so, is, is a beautiful mid tone grey anyway. He would be nice. Mm. So yeah, that's a, that was. Our first thought is that Moosh and his friends might be nice in the nice new one. Definitely. Yeah. And then what That'd else have you good. got, Sonia? What else have I got? I've got this hat on. Um, which is designed by you. Which is designed by me. And it's from our first annual. It's called the Boyd Hat. Um, yeah, and it's... I, I, had completely forgotten I made it really until five minutes ago. <laughs> it's been a very long time. <laughs> <laughs> but it's quite nice. It's got little French knots on it it's and cute. it's colour work. Yeah. So um, this one was, is in. Um, it's in dark and mid, I think. So Zadie and Zoe. Zadie and Zoe. With a little bit of knit by numbers. And there's a little knit by numbers pop. So yeah, if you want a colour pop, you can pick from any of the lovely knit by numbers colours. Or just use your stash, you know? Yeah. yeah. But yeah, it does work for colour work. Um, I think it's a really nice yarn for colour work. It's really grippy. Mm. So any of them would be lovely for colour work if you want some inspiration. And then what else? Should I... You've that one. Sure. This. this is half in Devonia and half in Exmoor's Walk Balls, now Devon Naturals. But um, what's it called? Pothos? Pothos. It's there your pattern, <laughs> It's been a while since I made any of these. It's like, I really love this sample, actually. I think I've made this like three or four times. Yeah. It's um, a nice wearable shape, isn't it? Because mm, like it's, so, it's so mm. wide. It's probably too wide to even fit in the camera. Yeah, it's just but, two um, shades, so you can just yeah pick and choose some naturals yeah. or do a colour pop. Yeah. Like that one. Exactly. So this one's got a little colour pop of Devonia, but you could do literally whatever you fancy. And then it's fully reversible, which is the best thing about it. It's magic because it's um, the top bit, the coloured bit is garter stitch. Um, so and it swaps. But it swaps, exactly. So you're always going knit, 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 pow, 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 knit, 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 pow, pow, pow. So it's completely reversible, which I think is quite nice for a shawl. You don't want to be accidentally putting your shawl on the wrong way round and realising it's all Just all checking. Wrong. Yeah, all I, don't gone think wrong. I don't think it matters. You, oh, no, it does. You've got a little <coughs> table on that. Yeah. You've managed to put it oh, on the right it? way round, Donna. So Gold star from Laura. What that so one is? you tell us yeah. about it? This one is Liberty Ferry. And this is in the light, which would be Zebedee, Zebedee now. Helena knows all of them she already. Should I should. I'm... Donna's learning. busy She's doing, the, all yeah, the doing all the yeah. labels at the moment, but yes, yeah, it's very pretty. This a really one. nice big Beautiful. chunky cable wow. on it. Mm. Works really well. And this is in the DK. It is, yes. And it's Liberty Ferry by Greta, Greta Menson. Yeah. yeah. Very it's warm. Beautiful. That that always people are always so um, besotted with that. It shows. Yeah, it works it? really it's nice just, with the black really dress. It's really lovely, just simple but effective, mm. isn't it? It's gorgeous. Yeah. Very pretty. It looks like it'd be fun to knit as well. To do that one and on my head i have a plymouth gin by thea oh, coleman God. this is in harvest hughes our new harvest hughes worsted but it would work in the so, yeah, in the dk very anyway. similar blend anyway it's, yeah mm. it's, yeah so it's got the yeah. swap balls 
It's going to mm. look really nice with all those cables, I think. Yeah, it's that's cute on you. I don't think I've seen you wearing it before. It's not usually quite cold enough for a hat No, I think I milk. wore it the other day when we went to Unravel. <laughs> Thankfully. You might have. When we were you walking, because it was it raining on. a little. Oh, yes. I put it on my head then. Yes. yes. That's very nice. Yeah, that's good. That's very warm. And then, and what then else I, have you got? I have some mittens. Um, this was knitted in our oh, Pure, God, Elements. Pure Elements little gradient set that we had then, which you could do with the minis, um, based on a Kate Davies pattern. I think it's Pookie Mitts, I think. Mm -hmm. So I did a gradient there. So, yeah, They're the, coming off. Yes. The same yarn as this. Yes. Because this is the Pure Elements as well. But again, it's a four colour gradient, so it would work perfectly with the new gradient mm. in the Grey Exmoor Blue Face to Romney, because it just yeah. uses... Yours is the same, it's just yeah, uses just all the way through all. the gradient. And this one is the Simple Bruge <coughs> Beanie, which is by Your me. pattern. And it's a free pattern. So mm. If you want to learn some brioche or just want a really easy hat, it's a Sometimes good one for that. Sometimes it's just nice for things to be easy, isn't it? It is, yeah. It's just yeah. nice. Yeah. I actually Definitely. think this is the JMP cardigan by uh, Albiona McLaughlin. But I think you could knit this as well. This is a, It'd be gorgeous. It's Devonia in, DK. Yeah. So you could use any of the DKs. You have a nice contrast one or a low contrast. It'd be really gorgeous. And you could actually even use the white and then go through the mm. others. You could yeah, have like could a have kind of gradient, of gradient in the stripes, yeah. wouldn't you? And so, really have fun, fun with it. Mm. It's lovely, that card. You, every time I see you wearing it, I'm like, oh. <laughs> it is really nice. I love it. It's really and good. That was getting a lot of love at Unravel. It well. was, yes. It was. Yeah. And then I've got, as a suggestion, is... Apple picking mitts, which is another one of my patterns. Uh, this one is in apple doll mm -hmm. for apple picking, um, but it's in the DK, so again, would be quite a good one. And it uses uh, four different colours. So you've got sort of three different colours there and then one that's in the colour work section. So again, you could do quite a good one in that using four of the colours or yeah, a few of the nice. colours if you wanted to. So again, that would be another one that would do well for having a nice sort of woolly, warm mm. thing. These are very good. I quite like you can flip them up like that. That's the most clever bit. So you can mm. still use your fingertips if you need to use your phone or whatever else, but you can cover up your fingers. So mm. I find them quite useful for that. Yeah, <laughs> they are lovely though. Every, yeah, this Good colour ones. combo is, I really yeah, speaks that's to nice. me as well. But yeah, I think they'd be quite nice in a, just a nice monochrome mm. one. Mm. But yeah, and then Good. the last one I have is... A bit of crochet. <laughs> it's yes. some crochet. This one is by uh, Rosina Northcote of Zines and Roger, and she's another one of our Devon locals. Yes. And this one's called the Grainbow. And there's another version that she did in Knit by Numbers, which uh, the, the stripes were like different colours. So it was like a grey, but with different colour bits. Mm. So she did two different versions. But yeah, yeah, this one's really lovely. This one's also very, very popular when we put it out. Mm. Yeah, it shows. It's been around <coughs> a long time and people love it. It feels lovely in the crochet as well, actually. But yeah, and this one is in the swabbles in the mid and the light. So Zoe and Zebedee. Zoe and Zebedee. And actually, Rosina's got a hat pattern in our most recent annual, number three which I think would be lovely mm. in the naturals as well, wouldn't it? Yeah, yeah. Just that one can be real... done in uh, the four ply. You could do yeah, that. mm. that'd be yeah. lovely. Very so, nice. So yeah, those That's are our suggestions. But we'd love to hear what you're thinking yeah, of making definitely. as well. Because um, we yeah. always like other ideas, don't we, of what we can add to our Ravelry definitely. huge cues. Yeah. And yeah. <laughs> How many patterns you can buy and then not make. Yeah, it's always the way. <laughs> growing all it's the time always <laughs> growing I know. Yeah. So another thing that we've been busy doing behind the scenes um, is we've got new labels and we have shown them to you before because the new Knit by Numbers DK and the Harvest Hughes has arrived. But look, now we've got them on Yana Delic um, and they'll also be on the Devon Naturals. So they're starting to arrive. It's very exciting. 
Um, and there's a little space here on the back next to the sticker, um, which is got something very exciting coming towards it. It's going to have a lino cut by um, an amazing local illustrator. She's based in Bristol. Uh, her name's Becca Thorne. Um, and she does all of these really beautiful, like nature inspired illustrations. So a lot of things from like plant life or um, like wildlife in general. Um, so it's been really lovely working with her and they haven't quite arrived in the building yet. So we can't show you the Devon Naturals label, but um, I'll ask Luke to drop in this beautiful lino cut of her kind of making the Devon Naturals label and it's got a Swart Balls and an Exmoor Blue Face on it. So um, that's a little sneaky peek, but eventually all of our new labels will have a little illustration. So Becca's also already designed um, a gramophone to go on the Yarnadelic one. Um, but it's been, it's been such a treat working with her and um, yeah, we're real fans of her work. So um, do kind of, I'll pop a little link for where to find her work because she's got an Etsy shop and she sells really beautiful cards and prints as well. So, um, but it's just a fun little surprise. So we hope if you do buy some Devon Naturals, don't forget to look at the back of your label because it's got some art on it now. Okay, so we've shown you everything about our new and exciting Naturals range. It's all the stuff. We're looking forward to yeah. it. Yeah. And we need to knit some things. We do, it? definitely. All okay. those things we knitted in the old stuff, we need to get going. Go on then. You're yeah. fast. <laughs> you, you can do this some evening, stuff. I'll bring a skein home with me. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yes, we also have a very exciting thing, is mm. that we liked it so much that we've sent a little bit of it off to Rivenitz, to Becky and Marcus, yes. and they've dyed some for us. It's beautiful. Yeah, it's as very, well. very nice, it's isn't yeah. it? Yeah. Keep your eyes peeled for that coming in yeah. April. They sent us quite a lot of colours to knit, sort of choose us which colours we did want, and mm. um, it's caused a minor bit of upset. <laughs> 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 we all like different things. Yeah. But they're very all beautiful, yeah, so I'm actually are. happy with any of them because they're just gorgeous. So Yeah, so that's coming soon. And then also in April, going to Wonderwall. Wonderwall. More yarn shows for me and Donna. Yes, <laughs> yeah. More <laughs> things to work work for. This one. Yeah. Not allowed yeah. to just shop. Yeah, we can't. That's a shame, <laughs> isn't it? Yeah, you come and buy stuff from us instead yeah. of us going and buy stuff from other people. Exactly. <laughs> it's yeah. better on our wallets. It is, it's yeah. slightly worse on yours. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Apologies. <laughs> But I um, have an even bigger stand than usual this year. Oh, yes. Yeah. Really, well, really big stand. It's just, it's going to be all the same stuff. We just thought it would be nice to have a bit more breathing room. Yeah, because, it's a bit um, more open. It gets chocker on that stand. It's like, it's hectic. It is. Yeah. <laughs> you get that little tight corner and you think, oh, people are stuck. It also means exactly. that we can try and bring as much as we can. Yes. yes. So rather than having so. to decide which tops to leave behind yeah so even more tops and we'll have all of the Devon naturals so come over and give them a squish because I think those in particular on a video you know we've sort of been holding up two different grey skeins and going yeah. oh they're so different but like if you come and see us at Wonderwall you can touch them and then you will be able to see how different they are and we'll have the hand dyed stuff we'll have the hand dyed yes and if there's any left yeah we haven't taken you haven't all us. bought it all already Sneaky special tops as well <laughs> Yeah, Laura's going to be yes. rustling up before them. We always Definitely. have our special ones, don't we, for Wonderwall? Yeah. Wonderwall's not Wonderwall without about yes. six top specials. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> Only six! <laughs> yeah. And the rest. Yes. Um, yeah, so come and find us. We're just in our usual spot. Um, um, and come over for a chat. And if you're going, 
um, definitely bring along, if you can manage it in your bag, bring along something you've yes. knitted yeah, or crocheted or spun because it's just, honestly, that's our favourite yeah, bit. Yeah, it's really nice. It? Seeing yeah. what folks are making. Um, so, yeah, come and show, you, show us what you've been up to. And if you can't make it to Wonderwall, like me, not going, mm. then we will put all of the special things that we've got when we come back up online as well. Yeah. But yeah. that will be beginning of May time. Definitely. Yeah. Mm. Around my birthday. Mm. Just for you. Just, Just for me. You. Yeah. So, yeah, <laughs> I think that's everything from us today. I reckon. Um, yeah. So hopefully see some of you at Wonderwall. And um, we hope you all managed to snag a little bargain in this sale. Yes, We've got enjoyment. Mm. And if you missed the sale, sorry. Yeah. <laughs> right. Bye. Bye. Bye.